What's up folks, we're out here at GunCon in sunny Grinnell, Iowa. And I've got a few things to show you that I thought were cool. So let's get to it. First off, I'll start by saying that this was really a two part event, the range day and the main day that occurred at the Brownells facility. I could only be at the actual show for about half a day because I had to get back for a Sunday commitment. So most of the footage comes from the range day. As always, thanks to Brownells for hosting the event. And if you're doing some shopping over there, then check the affiliates page where you can find a code to save yourself some cheddar and support the channel at the same time. You guys know how it works. You tell me what you want to see, and I will prioritize it. First up, you all know that I'm working on a BRN build, and I've been doing a video series chronicling it. The BRN uses a pick rail receiver, and I've seen an iteration of this RAB adapter from Stern Defense before, but now they're working on a pick rail variant for those of us who are using something that ends in pick rail. I had some time to stop and touch base with Huxworks. Now, I have been critical in the past of the brand that became Huxworks for the weight of their cans, and these are surprisingly light. So I'm looking forward to getting them in for testing. Of course, we have some impulsive Swamp Fox imagery. You guys have seen these circulating around the interweb. This is a pistol. Say it with me. Pistol. AK bullpup abomination made by Stuff and Things. It doesn't add any rear surface area suitable for shouldering. However, non-consensual shoulder contact may occur. But that's not really the thing that I wanted to show you from them. When I was in school, I played competitive paintball. Enter the shocker. This is a double trigger mod that goes right over your existing hardware. Now, John Patton was cool enough to buy all the ammo for this event, so I didn't sit there and burn through a case trying to get the hang of it, but you can see basically how it works. I got some time on the high point 10 millimeter and hopefully something else really cool soon, so make sure that your subscription is all hooked up. Speaking of handguns, I stopped at the Taurus booth and the Raging Hunter caught my eye, primarily because it looks cool, but also upon further inspection, you can actually remove the porting similar to how you screw a choke into a shotgun. Things that you wouldn't know if you didn't finger bank. Abort, abort. Radiant had a strong showing with their afterburner comp that does quite an amazing job without killing the profile of the gun. But what I was really interested in were their new Guardian mounts, which is a metal optics housing that helps protect your optics. It even includes an option to integrate a sight right in front of the glass for lower than lower third co-witness. All in all, I had a great time on this trip, hung out with some of my friends, and learned about some strange customs from the Corn Belt.